An entry price of 3,95,000 rupees means that the Honda Brio is certainly looking really exciting in the small car space. Welcome to the Car and Bike Show. I'm Siddharth Panayak, Barton Kar. We've got lots on the program today besides the new Brio. Speaking of great prices, you've also got great prices on the Mahindra XUV 500. Let's kick off with that review. Mahindra's W201 turned XUV 500 has arrived. And boy, has it excited us and the market. The car has killer prices. Yeah, okay, so they're introductory. But Mahindra knows it's going to get enough bookings at these prices to ensure that the vehicle is a runaway success. At least that would be my prediction. The design team at M&M submitted three concepts to the management and it was the cheetah that won. So you have hints of muscle, fangs, claws that show up all over. The door handles? Well, that's the cheetah's paw. Mahindra has understood the value of styling and which is why the design on this car has really been paid a lot of attention to. You can see that it has a lot of very sharp, distinctive sort of styling. We've got this sharp line on the side and this big bulge here, very distinct character that uh, has been given to the uh, MUV 500. Got to get used to saying that, that it's not 500, it's 500. In the front here, again, big flare of a swoop here, big muscular wheel arch and in the front, you got what's looking like a very typical Mahindra grille and yet it's uh, very differently done because it's sort of sloped backwards. It's been chiseled just a little bit as well, uh, which means that it's not the one feature that you notice straight away. What you do notice straight away are the LED lights, the uh, daytime running lights that have been added to the headlamp cluster. Very modern and very sort of different. The, the reason for the kind of housing you're seeing here well, you know, the entire vehicle's design has been inspired by a cheetah, says the company. And so those are the claw marks of that cheetah. The rear too has the same claw slash marks in the bumper lip. The tail lights are done well with good quality plastics. There is an unexplained pattern embossed into them. So I'm just going to call it the XUV family ensign. I'm driving the W8 two wheel drive variant. All-wheel drive is optional on the W8, but not on the base W6. Overall shut lines, paint finish and detailing is miles ahead of usual Mahindra and light years ahead of even the revered Scorpio. Given that this is a significant launch for the market, I will of course want to thoroughly test this vehicle and so what you're getting from me today is purely first impression stuff. And the great news is that uh, when you say first impression, you're expecting lots of those typical Mahindra attributes to come through, isn't it? None of those exist in this car and I think that's the one big generation change that Mahindra has managed to take as a company or as a manufacturer. And that means that body roll, you know, the little sort of very clumsy gear shifting, um, lots of rattle, vibration and noise, all gone. The 500 is powered by a new iteration of Mahindra's MHOC engine family unit. Figures are ample but not electric, an auto variant is under development. And like the figures, it's also true in terms of performance. So it's not as aggressive in its response, but it doesn't disappoint on most other parameters. The XUV 500 is reasonably lit and the gear changes are pure bliss. The steering is a little bit hard and clumsy though in physical feel. It is precise in driving terms though. I want to quickly expand on that whole point about body roll. That's the one thing that uh, is missing definitely from this vehicle. And so, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it. Wait for it. How does it compare to the Fortuna? That's the one question so many of you have, isn't it? And that's the one big difference. It feels more car-like. That's something the Fortuna just does not. So even though that's a bigger vehicle, and a lot of people might find a lot of appeal with that sort of size and bulk, well, look at the price on this one, and you know what? It becomes just a little bit of a no-brainer. Yes, I believe the Toyota Fortuna and to some extent even the Hyundai Santa Fe will feel the heat. And then there's even the 500's own sibling, the Scorpio, that will get partially cannibalized. NDTV's Cricket app. Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard. Special analysis. And much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.